Hi everybody and welcome back to The Collection. Today we're taking a look at my set of Super Mario Bros. 3 toys that you could get in a McDonald's Happy Meal all the way back in 1989 for just $2. Believe it or not, these three are my originals from 1989 that I somehow have held onto for the last 34 years. I have in quotes here, old joke, but I still can't think of a good one. First up is Luigi, which is number two in the set, but number one in my heart. Luigi. He's a weird one, riding on a zooming cloud that isn't like the clouds you can use in the game, and holding a star man that also isn't like the ones in the game. In fact, if you get up close on star man, it's just kind of disturbing looking. Like, I guess some things shouldn't be zoomed in on. Anyways, you pull him back and he zips around on little wheels. The little prongs on the bottom reduce surface area while the axles spin at varying heights and speeds to make it spin in circles, shoot off in a straight line, and generally make it really hard to film one hand. Luigi. Number four in the set is a backflipping Goomba. I remember it used to flip perfectly and always land right side up, but nowadays it mostly ends up bouncing back onto its head. Maybe the hinge or screw are crusty and tight, or maybe they're just too loose. I don't really know. I've always loved the design of this one. The oversized feet seem accurate to their depiction in the game, and it also serves as the big flat area for the suction cup to stick to. It's kind of brilliant in a simple sort of way. Anyway, he still looks great sitting on a shelf, except for that weird suction cup goatee thing. And yes, number one in the set is Mario a jumping Mario that wibbles and wobbles on the end of a suction cup and makes it really hard to film at high resolutions. I always thought he looked really chubby in the face in this figure, even plumper than he's drawn in the games and artwork of the time. This one feels different than Luigi and the Goomba too. It's got a softer, rubbery feel to it. Since they could only assume it would likely be flying into your young sibling's face, maybe they wanted to be sure to make it soft and round. There's actually a good reason this one looks and feels the way that it does, but more on that in a minute. He might be 34 years old, but he still sticks and bounces like a sprightly young <laughs> mini-Mario. I don't remember if I ever owned the fourth in the set, the Koopa Paratroopa. It had a little squeeze pump and tube attached, and when you squeezed it, the legs would kick, making it jump around on the table a bit like a frog. In hindsight, it's too bad they didn't make this one a frog Mario. That would have looked great. Based on at least one eBay lot I found, the Paratroopa is definitely the rare one of the four. But it turns out there's an even rarer fifth toy in the set. The under three toy that parents could request for jealous siblings who were too young to play with toys that had wheels, springs, and tubes. It's intriguing as a collector thing, but in reality, it's just the Mario toy without the spring and base. Now that I think about it, that's probably why it feels and looks so much more round, plump, and soft than the other toys. It was actually two toys. I couldn't believe these things were 34 years old until I got those macro shots. Yeah, these toys have seen some things. Well, that's all for this one. If you want to see the Paratroopa in action, the Fast Food Toy Reviews channel has a great video of the whole set complete in their original packaging. I've also got a separate video up of me just rambling a little while I clean these toys before making this video. After doing all the research and shooting these, I'm kind of tempted to pick up a Koopa Paratroopa now, so maybe in the future I'll have a video up of just that one. Thanks for watching, hope you liked it, and I'll see you in the next video.